Hello, how you doing? So today it's going to be about Google Chrome and Skype. So over here, you go to the website of Google Chrome, you click on download. Uh, L Ubuntu is a Debian or Ubuntu. In my particular version, it's a 64 bit, so I just accept. going to do some things here. Wait in. Here we go. And I'm going to save this file. I want to change it to save because it's going to take a few minutes to download. I like to, when I download them, go to doc downloads and create an install file folder. Because I know I'm going to install after the download. Save. I'm going to let that download. You can see here it's going to take a few minutes. It's in progress. While that's happening, I also want to look at Skype. Getting Skype installed. So we're going to go to Systems, Tools, Synaptic Package Manager. Enter your password. Now if we just go ahead and search for it out of the box, it shouldn't be there. Um, what Skype is, I believe, is one of the uh, Conical partners. So then we go to repositories. And in here in the software is Conical partners. Both of them. I'm going to check. When I choose close, it's going to want to update, reload. So we're going to let it up, uh, reload the, the repositories, get them updated. This time, though, it will include the Conical, ah, I believe I already see the name there, Conical Partners. Yeah, see right here? It's already started. So, but I have to let it go through its process. Okay. This might take a few more minutes than I anticipated. So I'm going to go ahead and pause and come back when it's done. Okay. Looks like it's done updating. <laughs> so now I'm going to search again for Skype. And there we go. Here's Skype this time. It's not just a... And I'm going to mark installation. Mark. And then apply. Just as before. And that's all there is for Skype. Going to let it download these packages and install. Okay, 20 megabytes. That's going to take time. I know 20 megabytes is going to take time. So I'm going to pause this and come back when it's finished. Okay, it looks like it finished. So I'm going to exit out of Synaptic Package Manager. Then we're going to go to the menu here. Internet, there we go, Skype. Um, I'm going to cancel this for right now. I just wanted to install it for you. Show you how it works. You get right out of Synaptic Package Manager, but you gotta check those uh, conical, uh, they call it third party repositories. Okay, so now we're gonna go back to Firefox. Uh, looks like download's been complete. So I'm gonna exit out of Firefox. Go to my downloads. We're going to look at a new application here. It's the package installer. This comes pre, uh, already installed. 
And if I were to go to the menu at the system tools, it's called a GW package installer. All I had to do was click on it, on the uh, icon of Google Chrome that I wanted to get installed. And put your password. This password is the same password as a user login, in case you're wondering. Google Chrome Stable. I'm going to open Firefox back. Okay, install, reinstall. Okay, so we just exit out of the thing. Here we go, internet. Google Chrome. have Firefox but I do use Google Chrome for a lot uh, many different other things excuse me Email me if you like. And exit out of that. Let the sign in go. Continue. Okay, got it. to use my different Google Chromes for is there it goes. The different plugins and everything and my bookmarks. Okay, looks like everything is there. I want to go back to Firefox for a second here. Um, as of this recording, and this is 16.4, 16.4 long, long term support. I'm going to click download Skype. Now I know I only had to go to the uh, Synaptic Package Manager, but in for Linux here, you notice the version, Linux version. 4.3 meaning it's the latest latest version that they have for support on Linux and if I were to start it up like I did I'm going to agree and see 4.3 so when you do install Skype from the Synaptic Package Manager after you enable the third-party repositories it will be the latest version and here's Google Chrome Google Chrome and Skype so you do have many other resources and tools to have of software that is every day for people Google Chrome and Skype are two more thank you Hello. I'm sorry, one of the things I forgot to tell you why I installed Skype. I mean Google Chrome. <laughs> Everybody installs Skype Skype to use it. Okay. So Google Chrome here. One of the main reasons I like to have Google Chrome on my desktop is for Netflix. 
It allows me to watch Netflix without having to install anything extra. Everything's built in inside Google Chrome to watch uh, to watch my shows on my account here. That's a uh, live streaming. Um, I can't start any. You can't watch any. I just wanted to show you. This is why I use Google Chrome. Also, uh, Hulu, Hulu uh, Amazon, Hulu, Amazon Prime Video, and my Hulu, as well as Netflix. I don't have to install anything extra. It works right out of the box. As soon as I install Google Chrome, I can immediately start watching my uh, content from these websites that I subscribe to. So this is one of the big advantages for Linux users. Um, you can still install Adobe if you like for uh, Firefox, the Adobe Flash plugin, or install the Pipelight plugin. I don't want to do all those kinds of things. It's just as easy to install Google Chrome and go to your website, you know, have, have all your bookmarks and go right to your website and start watching. Much easier. Much easier. Okay. Uh, that's all I wanted to say. Thank you.